Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lady V and I've got some epic 12v12 coverage for you. Now, if you missed it, there was a great event going on in Madrid, Spain this weekend featuring Team Queso versus Tribe Gaming. So we're gonna see the best of the best going at it. It was a three round match that you'll get to see all those rounds, but broken up into videos starting with round one. So the first round went to Team Queso, 14 to 10. And that meant that Team Queso went four for five out of their 12v12s. Tribe Gaming, unfortunately, not picking up a triple and going only on those two stars this round. Let's take a look at all the 12v12 triples from Team Queso. So first up we've got Rigo Torres going in, looking to take out Mutka from Tribe Gaming. Now, you're going to see a lot of queen charge hog attacks going through in Town Hall 12, and this was a spectacular one at that. Now, Rico starts off with a very smart move here. You can see at the 230 side of the base and all the way up top at the 1130 side of the base, he's utilizing his bowlers in order to A, help his funnel on the 230 side for his queen charge, and then B, He's using that 1130 side bowler to eliminate that bomb tower for his hog, so it's not something he has to worry about at the end. Bombs in the last portion of your base actually could really kill an attack, especially when you see Tesla's popping up and the possibility of a giant bomb. So you'd have a double giant bomb set to worry about there when you might not have a heal left over. Now moves through nicely with this queen charge, utilizing the queen charge to take out the town hall, which again is a lot what we're seeing in the meta. It's a really great value and use of your queen, and then you can use the remainder of your troops to get through the rest of the base. Gets that jump in. We've got the king set to help with the funnel here as the queen carries on going into the core. This is very little value out of his troop space, but a lot of high percentage that he's clearing up here. Already he's just about at the 40% mark. Again, very great value out of that. So he's got a stone slammer set in place. And now this is something that I really do like to see is utilizing those stone slammers to help tank, comes in, helps house those hogs to get into place. They jump through all the, the walls. They're already there in the walls, not even needed and they meet up with the main pack of hogs. And he gets everything all healed up, set to go through and through the base. And again, at that 11.30 side, you can see there was a giant bomb there. So there's a double giant bomb set that he did need to be worried about. He works through nicely. Cleanup is already set and going. And those healers do switch over to the hogs to help out as they get to the end of the base since the queen died out. So again, queen charge hogs are really nice strategy here because you get to utilize those hogs pretty well and if you don't have any heals on the back end you can sometimes have those healers switch over depending on the pathing of your hogs and if you're eliminating any of the ad's so everything's set for cleanup and he is fine makes easy peasy work of this base so on to the next we've got fed from team k so looking to take out the man, it's Sue, and he does successfully. So early on, he's sending in those loons, which are known as Coco loons, um, pretty much A, to help set his funnel, but B, B, and probably more so A, because <laughs> it's very important here, is that he takes the hits from any of those black bombs that might target his healers. So sets those healers in place, gets the wizard down, but that really was a big part of the funnel to knock out that mortar and get the queen set and going. So sets a king, also in place for funnel, sending in that test wall breaker to check for any small bombs that might come in the way and gets a beautiful wall break in on that first layer there. So he's got really nice access here into the core and has to deal with the hound coming through. You can see that second layer break is exactly what he needed. Very nicely timed to ensure that he gets through. Now this gives him access to the enemy queen, to the eagle, some great value out of this queen charge entry. And that king going the distance here, use the ability already, but you're gonna see him clear out some more defenses and help shape up this base and carve out the path a little bit more. Very important to utilize your king this way because you can also help clean up some of the base, get that early 
uh, percentage, but really get those structures down so your Lalo doesn't have to worry about it later on. Your minions aren't worrying about taking down those structures. So sending in that stone slammer to do the tanking, freezing up the multi, giving them a little ways to go here, that little edge in holding off the defense. Now he sets in his Lalo, that hound taking the lead on the AD as he swoops his loons in. And he's got that Grand Warden working nicely. He can utilize a tome ability to go over the town hall as a Gigabomb pops. Does some nice work getting through there. And he's got very solid pathing, as you can see. It's narrowed out, which makes it easier to utilize your spells and get those loons working through together. Minions and pups are all set down for the cleanup as Alalo continues through this base. And what I really liked is his use, if you noticed, over on that nine o'clock side, looked like he tried to use that wall breaker to try and distract the archer tower. Timing wasn't quite there, but I kind of think that's what he had in mind. Or he was just trying to use the rest of his troops. <laughs> but a really nice hit here from Fed and taking down Itsu with that queen charge lalo again another strong strategy that you're going to see in town hall 12. cleanup coming through and it's gg so the third 12v12 that we've got in here from team queso comes from michael taking out eve maxi now michael in with the queen charge lalo he's going to utilize his queen charge get that wall break in, get a jump into the core. So he's going for a pretty deep push here before he sends in his Lalo. Now the king again set for that funnel and you're gonna see the queen pushing into the base to knock out the enemy queen, to knock out that eagle artillery. Again, this is gonna be great value out of a queen charge. Typically you're wanting to see about 40% if you're queen charging out of your base and to secure that you're taking down the CC. So pulls that CC, King's handling it for now, but the queen can easily take on that baby dragon, the Valks and the witches, but nicely getting that poison placed to slow those troops down and keep the queen going. Has to rage up those healers to keep her past all that DPS. It's a lot of damage on her, but he pushes through nicely. And again, this is very patient. When you're doing these queen charges, you do have to be very patient to get the value that you need before you start in your Lalo. So as soon as those troops are down, anything that would be of worry to his air units, those wizards, those witches, the baby dragon, that queen, once those are all down, he's able to send in his Lalo. And again, we see stone slammers coming through, which are super tanky. They do a lot of nice work tanking for these air attacks, tanking for the Lalos. And he just surrounds the base with his loons. Queen is still going strong, holding on to that ability. And again, you'll see the Grand Warden Tome here pop for that town hall to keep the loons safe through the damage of the Gigabomb. Times that nicely as everything passed through and that haste goes a pretty long way as well, pushing those loons past. Now they're gonna have to backtrack a little bit to get into the multi, but this is also placed very nicely to get a big push to the end. So many loons left over and plenty of cleanup Michael absolutely smashed Maxi on this first round. Now the last hit to go through was from Al Mualan, and I might be saying this wrong. I'm probably saying this wrong. I'm really not sure. But <laughs> comes in again with a hog attack, but this time we've got something a little special. And I'm gonna showcase this in another hit from Mutka. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this. It's a, uh, a Sui. Electron hog attack. Now I am absolutely in love with this strategy. Something very different where you're utilizing air and ground at the same time. And he's taken on Danny, AKA Eve check. So you can see looking to knock out that town hall. Now with this kind of strategy, which I will break down in another video from Mutka's attacks, you utilize your queen, you utilize this sacrificial Sui entry to get your queen in, knock out that town hall. And then you're going to see how he utilizes his Electron, which I absolutely love. I love this combination. Getting a lot of value, again, out of your kill squad without a crazy amount of troop space. So the queen takes that on, gets what he needs out of it. And you can see here up in the 12 o'clock side of the base, 
He's dropping that stone slammer. Now sends in a loon to do a little tanking. Also picking up uh, some of those bombs. And he's got the baby dragon to follow for his stone slammer. But rage is up. We've got the rage clone combination to take out that enemy queen. So again, very, very nice value in what he took out percentage wise, but also in the importance of what was left on the base. So CC's taken care of in this as well. Queen's taken care of, and he's got the hogs going through. You see the hound chasing on those hogs, but it doesn't make too much of a difference for him at this point because the hound does no damage to them. Nice work in following through. With the heels, the Grand Warden doing some nice work as well, keeping on those hogs and not getting distracted. And he's got plenty of cleanup down with the minions, with the baby dragons, and a couple of goblins that will help sort through any of those storages and collectors pretty quickly. So hogs holding strong on this one as he sends in the Luna baby dragon for a little distraction to help out with that archer tower. And again, I absolutely love this strategy. We'll break it down a little bit more uh, in one of the next upcoming videos. But we've seen some great attacks coming through from this war. And we've got more to come as there's still a round two and a round three. So you see more triples coming in from Team Queso. And you will see triples from Tribe Gaming as well. So that's it for round one, but we still have rounds two and three to go. That'll be in separate videos. And there's going to be some bonus content from the same weekend, including Cream Esports. So if you're not subscribed to me on YouTube, make sure you click that button. You can also find this live action that I'm doing. I covered this live on Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch, my link is in the description below. And as always, please feel free to leave comments. I always love hearing from you guys. Sorry, I'm stuttering over my words. It's late and I've been doing this way too long. Um, I hope you guys have a great night. Whatever you're doing, enjoy your days. And I'll catch you again soon for the next YouTube video in the next day or so. Have a good one, guys. This is Lady V out.